Hey, welcome. This is Prashant and in this video, I'm going to talk about PeopleSoft Query and it will let you know what you will learn from this course. PeopleSoft Query is a comprehensive course which will start with basics and then we'll cover the intermediate and finally we'll cover the advanced topics on PeopleSoft Query. Once you complete this course, you will have a very strong understanding of PeopleSoft Query you will be able to handle any complex query and be able to fine tune it so that it gives you a desired result in minimum amount of time. And you will be able to understand what all people's of query can be used for. So let's do a quick review of what we will be learning in this. So what you will learn, you will have a strong understanding of people's of query. You will be able to create reports using people's of query. You will be able to write complex query as well. And you'll be able to fine tune and improve performance of queries with large data sets. You will learn how to best utilize people's of query for quick results. And as I said, you will be able to master people's of query for any given task. So this is what you will learn once you complete this course. I'm going to go over the course structure so that you understand what's going to be covered in this. So firstly, we'll start with the PeopleSoft Query where we'll go over describing the PeopleSoft Query, what is PeopleSoft Query, then we'll go over what is Query Manager. We'll go over how to use Query Manager, how to use the search page, how to find the existing queries, how to organize and manage those queries. What are different query types? What is a private query? What is a public query? And why should you even use PeopleSoft Query? Then we'll be covering how to use a PeopleSoft Query. How do you run a query? How do you create new queries? How do you add records and fields to those queries? And also we'll go over what are the different field properties and how do you remove the duplicate data? Then we'll move on to criteria and prompts where we will be learning how to add criteria, what is a criteria, how to add multiple criteria, how to use effective data fields in your query, how to add runtime prompts, what are runtime prompts, how to create those prompts, and how you can have multiple prompts when you run your query. Then it will go over scheduling the queries and how to run summary calculations. You will also understand the purpose of joins, how to use record hierarchy and related record joins. You will learn how to use having criteria. You will learn how to use other aggregate functions. In the expressions, we'll be covering how to create an expression, what is an expression, how to use expression in different ways, how to use literals in expression, how to use functions, how to use links, how to use prompts, and how to use aggregates in expression. We'll also learn about drilling URLs. What is a drilling URL? How you can use a drilling URL as a query URL or a component URL or external URL. Then you will be seeing that how to run a query that have drilling URL defined. Then we'll go over joins, unions and subquery. It's again an important concept for you to have a strong understanding of people subquery. We will learn about different types of joins. What is standard join? How auto join works in PeopleSoft query? You will learn what is a different subquery? What are single value subquery? How to create a subquery with the in list and not in list? You will learn how to use unions, how to use left outer joins. Then we will also look at composite query. What is a composite query? How it is different than a regular people's soft query, how to create those composite query, how to delete those composite queries. You will learn how to add filter criteria and how to add runtime prompts and how to add drilling URL. Then we learn about connected queries. What is a connected query? How to use a connected query? How it is related to a query and what is the use of connected query? 
After that, we'll go on to some of the administration level concepts for PeopleSoft Query, where you will learn how to administer a PeopleSoft Query, how to look at the logs for a query, how to gather statistics for a query, how to kill a query, how to manage your private queries, how to manage your public queries. You will also learn about query security, again an important concept. You will learn how to access the PeopleSoft Query, how to create query profiles, and here we'll also touch on PeopleSoft security, how to use permission list to configure for PeopleSoft query access. You will also learn what are different query access groups and how to implement query rule level security. Then we'll also learn about the different tables which are involved in PeopleSoft query. Some of these tables are specific to using PeopleSoft query and then we'll also go over the application tables which are dependent on PeopleSoft queries. So for HR, what are the tables that you can use in PeopleSoft query? What are the common tables in finance that you can use in PeopleSoft query? Then we'll be looking at the query performance. What are the best practices that you need to follow when you create a PS query? What are parallel hints? What are the different database level settings? What are different application server settings that should be used? how to schedule wrong running queries, how to fix the issues with the query performance. We'll also touch on what is a query in two tier, how to access the query in two tier, how to access it in three tier, what are the advantages of one over the other, which one you should use. And then in the additional section, we'll also go over what are the different features that have been added in the recent releases. We'll also give you a query cheat sheet and there are a lot of other reference material that we will provide. So as you can see, this course covers a lot more, starts with the basics and then we go over almost all the concepts that you will learn about PeopleSoft Query. This is just a general guideline of this course. What you will learn will be a lot more. Thank you for watching this video and see you inside this course.